In this video, I'm going to show you how to import an Infoworks model into Lumion along with a 3D model of your project. The purpose is to add some context to your project and improve your visualization output in Lumion. Hi everyone, Alberto here with BIM Lounge. In previous videos, I showed how to create a context for your project using Infoworks. Now, at this point, instead of relying on Infoworks for your visualization, I would highly recommend using Lumion so you can create more realistic and stylized still renderings and animations. Let's head over to settings and export model. The one thing I would always ensure is that we're using the home model and the preferred um, extension for Lumion or the preferred file type for Lumion is FBX. So you can go ahead and uh, browse the location of the exported model and make sure that all these elements are checked and you can go ahead and export. So once in Lumion, the first thing I would check is uh, the origin. I would make sure that I can uh, easily see the origin and then I can go ahead and uh, import a new model. And obviously you can uh, browse to the model that you just exported from Infoworks and hit open. Now, once you see the Infoworks model in Lumion, I would go ahead and place it by the origin and you'll be able to verify if the whole model, the whole Infoworks model is above the Lumion ground. As you see in this case, uh, mine isn't. So what I'm going to do is um, select the model and with the ability to edit the position and I'm going to increase the Y uh, a bit just so the whole model is above the Lumion ground. And then I would um, go to the photo mode so we can uh, save our new location and I would head over to the site. Now, let's take a break. Now you'll notice that since this Infoworks model has such a large extent, uh, going from one corner to your site may take a long time, especially if you're only using the W to move forward. But even if you hold down Shift to go a little faster and the space bar to go even faster, that's still too slow. So what you want to do is hold down those three keys on your keyboard and at the same time use your mouse wheel to move forward, almost like zooming in. And that's going to make it a lot more manageable. So now that you got closer to your site, just so we save the location of these frames, I would go ahead and uh, take a couple of pictures. And as you can see, the resolution is very high uh, given the imagery that we imported, but obviously it looks flat because it's just imagery. Next, we're gonna show how to bring this to life in Lumion. All right, so for the final part of this exercise, I was going to use uh, some of the entourage that um, I placed in my Lumion template. So I created this template that has all the uh, objects that I typically use in projects. And this usually saves me a ton of time. And the way I would uh, transfer these is by group. I don't think I'm able to make a selection right now. So I'm just going to grab uh, everything, save it as a group, and then open it in uh, Lumion. If you're interested in learning how to create your own Lumion template, uh, I'll be releasing a video about that in the coming weeks. So stay tuned. Now, the way you would save groups is by category. So just for this exercise, I'll only need plants and vehicles. So I'm going to go ahead and pick a better viewpoint. And I'm going to go ahead and select all the plants. And then uh, current selection to group. And at this point, I can go ahead and save the group out. I'm going to call this vegetation. And then I'll move to the vehicles. Once you're back in Lumion, what you want to do is click on the place icon and you see this little folder icon, it's called load group. 
click on that and of course you want to go ahead and load the two groups all right and you see that as you start bringing in objects the model will start to slow down so i'm gonna place the, these items and i really think i'm going to optimize graphics so that everything is just a little bit faster next thing you want to do just as a productivity tip is to really leverage the lumion layers so i would go ahead and select nature and select all these so I'm going to go ahead and once I select this, I'm going to go ahead and ungroup these items. And now while they're still selected, they're vegetation, but they're as they're still selected, I would go ahead and probably place them on layer two. So layer two is now my vegetation layer. Now, obviously, we won't need all these trees, but what we can do is take a quick look and without having to go through all the Lumion library we can make our selection for example I have I have a palm there that I can probably use and move it in place for example here and these look taller so we can go ahead and optimize the weather to take a look at the shadows and make an assessment about their height. And let's go ahead and match those shadows. And I think that's probably a good size palm. And you want to go back to the actual palm and center it or place it more accurately and then you want to go ahead and do the same for these ones you can just copy and maybe this one could be a, a little bit bigger And obviously you can repeat the same steps for the other types of trees. Next, let's go ahead and bring in the vehicles. Also, it's good practice to go ahead and select all the vehicles and place them on their work set for example, or sorry, layer, <laughs> put them on layer three and we can call this vehicles. Now at this point, obviously we want to bring in our project. So let's go ahead and import Let's import the sample file DAE. Now let's assign a few sample materials just so it looks better than the out of the box or rabbit materials.
So now let's take a look at the model. You see that you can start getting some views. Obviously, you would have to place all or some of these trees just to kind of make it feel that this area has some depth to it. Feels more of a 3D model. Maybe let's get a couple of closer shots. Especially if you pick the, the right viewpoint, then in this case, all you have to do here is maybe add a few more trees. But I'd say this is looking pretty good. You can take another uh, viewpoint here. And then you'll see that if you bring the quality back up to even the trees and the terrain, you st you'll start to see a higher quality. See that? And obviously when you render, um, you'll see this quality. So what you're setting here is really the, the editor settings. Um, but just to get a better preview of the value that you may get from higher resolution imagery applied to InfoWorks. Uh, this really shows, it really comes through uh, when using it uh, with InfoWorks and Lumion. But also, I wanted to clarify that even though you may have, even though you may not have high resolution imagery I would still suggest using InfraWorks Lumion with Revit also because uh, you see you still get that context you get some of the buildings that may not be uh, that accurate you can customize that in InfraWorks but the bottom line is that you get a way better context than the just uh, Lumion out of the box um, terrain. Again, final disclaimer, this uh, exercise wasn't meant to uh, show you a uh, high-end rendering uh, in terms of quality, but it was really meant to be a productivity workflow to show you how we can use uh, different pieces of software that together can give you a great result. Now, a question for you. What are your preferred tools to show context around your project? Is it realistic? Is uh, schematic more efficient while still getting the idea across? Let me know in the comments below. Now, if this was useful to you, consider liking and subscribing to get more of these tutorials. Thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next one.